I was thinking, like, I think part of the problem in America is that 911, people think of 911 as being instant response. And because, like, when I was growing up in South Africa, one of my favorite TV shows I used to watch with my mom was a show called Rescue 911, right, with William Shatner. And it was like a show where they go like, 911, do you have an emergency? And I'd be like, hi, I'm in my house, and something. Well. And then like 911 would get there. And I remember even when we were watching inside, we'd be like, wow, 911, 911. And this is in Africa. And we'd be like, 911. And we never thought of our numbers because they started. They tried a thing in South Africa called uh, 10 triple one because they tried to be like, yeah, we've also got a thing. People were like 10 triple one. It was like no. <laughs> And because they try to go with that feeling, but we never thought of it as instant response. Because if you would call our like call centers, it wouldn't be as efficient. And so, like in America, I think people are used to the fact that something will get done now. So I was thinking, what you should do is just to like dull it for a bit. You should bring the South African operators here, <laughs> just so that people stop thinking 911 is like an instant solution. Because like South African, like they'll ask you questions. Like in America, they just go, someone's getting robbed. They're like, we're on our way. Like I heard with 911, even if you call them and then hang up they'll come to check what happened. Which, I, I mean, I get it, but I, I'm also like, that's crazy. Whereas in South Africa, like, if you, like, if they called, if you had South African operators doing 911, like, you'd call, and you'd be like, hello, there's a man at the park. And they'd be like, hello, can I help you? <laughs> they'd be like, yeah, there's a man at the park. And I'd be like, and? <laughs> be like, yeah, he, he looks really suspicious. Be like, okay, go talk to him. <laughs> Ask him what he's doing. Ask him his name, what he's doing there. <laughs> Be like, I, I'm scared of talking to him. Be like, okay, walk away then, go away. <laughs> like, they would just be like, you go, like, it's just, people here just like, the cops are going, no, the cops are not coming. For everything, like, hey, you can call 911 because your cat is in a tree. That is some crazy ass shit in Africa that you'd just be like, yeah, you'd be like, hello, my cat's in a tree. They'd be like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, you'd be like, I need, what, like, my cat's stuck in a tree. They'd be like, yeah, so what must we do? I need you to help it. They'd be like, then how will your cat learn? <laughs> Let the cat suffer, it will never do it again. <laughs> Thank you for calling. Please stay on so you can read this call. Thank you very much. <laughs> Anything you want to chat about? Anything on your mind? It's a fun part of a live show. Yes? Um, what's the difference between racism in South Africa and racism in America? Oh, I love that. I love how you ask such a deep question in such a bubbly way. <laughs> Because your tone of voice was really fun. So what's the difference between... Because <laughs> there, I thought you were going to say, like, oh, the difference between, like, summer and spring for you. As you're, you're like, what's the difference between racism in South Africa <laughs> and racism in the USA? <laughs> that was, like, my favorite topic. Um, uh, I, I will tell you what. I think the biggest difference between racism in America and, and racism in South Africa is I find that South African racism is and was a lot more blatant. And w so there's more of an acknowledgement of it as an idea. And I always say to people, I know it's strange to say this, but I often think that was the greatest gift the apartheid government gave us, is that it was like, it was there. It was happening to you. It wasn't hidden. Do you know what I mean? So you were just like, we don't want this. People would fight, stop this apartheid, it's racism. And then the government would be like, yes, of course it is racism. That's <laughs> what we're doing to you. The blacks must not do this. But then what happened in America is, you know, you hit that period where like they started changing things. I don't know if it was around Nixon and they were like, oh, we've got to be silent about this. And then it wasn't blatant anymore. And so I, I always thought that's a terrible thing to do to people because now people have to be like detectives of their own racism. They have to figure it out. You know what I mean? So let me give you an example. In South Africa, the government would just say, blacks cannot live in these areas. You're black, you don't live here. Now you know I'm black, I don't live here. <laughs> I don't like it, but I don't live here. You get what I'm saying? But then in America, you'd be like, can I get a home loan? And they'd be like, mm, no. <laughs> and you'd be like, why? And they'd be like, <laughs> no. <laughs> And be like, why can't I? And then you just start realizing, you're like, wow, how come the black people all seem to only be able to get houses in these areas, but not in these areas? And these school districts are better. How come the money is going here? How come the, how come? And it's, it, you get what I'm saying? And I, I know it sounds strange to say, but I think there's something liberating about fighting an obvious enemy as opposed to one that you have to prove exists. That's probably the biggest difference. Between America and, yeah. And, and can I just say, I would, what is your name? My, uh, Katrina. Katrina, you should be a debate moderator in this country. Because <laughs> the way you snuck that question in was so chill. <laughs> you, would, you would throw politicians off the, what are you? I'm a teacher. You're a teacher, aha! <laughs> you see, 
That was, uh, yeah. Yeah, no, politicians wouldn't see you coming, you know? You'd just be like, so let's talk about all of the campaign finance fraud <laughs> and how you stole that money. I, I really don't know why Americans are, so, I, I, I think I know why, but I'm not sure why Americans are so stressed about their children. <laughs> like it's a, uh, yeah, it, like I, I, was, I, was um, I was in Brooklyn over the weekend. <laughs> I know, I go places. Um, <laughs> um, and uh, it was really interesting. It was, I was at, the, at a park with a friend, and so she was taking her kids to the park, and so we were like, all right, let's go to the park. And when we got there, my friend is from South Africa, right? So we get there, and immediately the first thing she sees, she's like, she's like, I travel, she's like, why, why are all the parents in the park? I'm like, what do you mean? She's like, why? The kids are, but the, cause like all the parents are right there. And I was like, oh yeah, this is an American thing. They don't, cause like every parent is like there, like the kid like swinging and the kid is there and the kid comes down the slide and the parents are there and the kids talking to each other. Parents are, it's, a, it's really interesting to see when you're from another country. Cause here like everyone's just like my, my kid, every, but it, it, it's weird. It almost becomes like a prison yard. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, cause all the parents are there on the side like, hey, 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 back it up, back it up, back it up. <laughs> I'm like, what happened to just like the kids? You know, you know when you step, just be on the outside. You know, you, basically, I think parents should treat playgrounds the way people should treat the luggage carousel at airports. <laughs> Take a step back. <laughs> Only when you see something happening with your shit, then you step in. <laughs> Until then, relax, relax. <laughs> we'll come around. If there was one aspect of South African culture that I could transplant to, transplant to America, what would it be? Huh, what would it be? I think it would be um, maybe our general ease at talking about uh, race and our racial past, you know? Because South African and America have very similar histories, you know, in that there was like, there were many things that were done to people of color that were extremely heinous. But we, we just maybe because of the Truth and Reconciliation Commission in our country, we were forced to talk about it, and we just talk about it. It's painful, but we laugh about it, and it's out there. Whereas in America, I find there's like a lot of tension in and around that. A lot of people are just like, yeah, well, come on, we don't have to give it. Do we have to bring that up? And it's like, dude, I'm not saying you did slavery. Calm down. You know what I mean? Because that's how a lot of people treat it. They're just like, I wasn't there. I didn't say you were there. I'm just like, slavery happened. Yeah, but I, I swear I wasn't there. Dude, you're 37. Calm down. You know what I mean? And I feel like there could be, it, it helps to be able to have conversations about those things because then it helps you understand how you got to where you got to. But if you can't have those conversations, then you just have to operate in a blind space of like, how did this happen? You know, why do so many black people live in this part of Harlem? I don't know, why do you think? I don't know. <laughs> do, you, do you get what I'm saying? And it, it actually opens it up, I think. That would be like the one part. And it doesn't fix everything, don't get me wrong. But I do think it makes it easier to address issues, to have conversations, when you can just be like, yeah, man, this shit happened. You know what I mean? You can just be like, yeah, that was, that was crazy. That was wild that that happened, that this happened, that you, and, and then, and that's the thing, a lot of the time people think it's about assigning blame, but it's not. It's about addressing what happened so that everyone can move forward and understand why things need to be fixed or how they got there in the first place. Does that make sense? Like, imagine... Imagine if like your, your doctor, like you want to talk to your doctor about something that happened inside your body and then you know your, your doctor scans and then you're like, doc, I think, I think I might have like a cancer. Your doctor's like, I wasn't there. I wasn't eating with you. You're like, no, I just need your help fixing it. Yeah, I wasn't there though. I wasn't eating. It's like, no man, just chill out. You know what I mean? Just talk about, that's the one thing. I'll transplant that. And chickens that don't like do weights and stuff. <laughs> that's the other part. Like chickens that just like are normal. Because American chickens is just like, what, 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 what is it? Like, once I saw them, I was like, I'm sorry, what? Is that the thing I'm eating? Oh. Like, I remember when I first saw a chicken wing in America. This is the, du this is the dumbest thing you've ever heard. And you're going to judge me, but I judge you back. I remember the first time I had a chicken wing in America is like, I ordered, like, buffalo wings, okay? And I, I know this sounds crazy. But the reason I was intrigued, because I saw it on someone else's plate, and then I was like, what are those? And someone said, those are buffalo wings. And I was like, oh, is this like a part of the buffalo that I don't know? <laughs> and I was like, I want to taste buffalo wings. And then I remember eating it, then I was like, it's sort of like chicken. And someone was like, it is chicken. <laughs> and I was like, but it's buffalo. And then they were like, no, it's chicken. And then I was like, but what chicken is this? <laughs> I was like, how big is the wing of this chicken? What, what 
what dinosaur chickens do you guys have here? Because that's not the size of any normal chicken anywhere in the world. So yeah, I would, I would, that's the one other thing I would bring is just like normal animals. <laughs> normal, that's all. Yeah, I'd bring normal animals and conversations about race. <laughs>